Hi friends, today we are going to start Salesforce Marketing Cloud. That is one of the key features, say send logging. So what it is, send logging, it captures relevant information of a subscriber to whom communication is being sent, email or SMS in a data extension called send log data extension during mail or SMS send. So send log data extension is created by using the inbuilt template which is send log for emails and send log for SMS, which are available in email studio. In order to record the logs in data extension, enable SM send login with data extension is checked at the time of email send. Only following send supports send login, user initiated send, trigger send, AB test send, guided sends, Salesforce sends. So let us check how send login works. So let's log in or, okay, so. We need to give the authenticator code. Seven So from where we'll get ch check it. First, we need to visit email studio. Subscriber, go to data extension. Okay, suppose we want to create a new data extension, standard data extension, click on OK. So you want to check, you want to create new data extension, send from template. So have you noticed, it is a, there is a send log is here, is send log on from template, send log data extension is here. There is a send, SMS send log is present also. So I want to try to create it, I want to try to create it. So next, next. Okay, so here you notice there is a uh, in a log. It must store job ID, list ID, batch ID, sub ID, toggle sent ID, error code. So every time we create, it creates a job ID. It's a Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Whenever we send an email, or it creates a new job ID. So let us start. Okay, so what you have noticed, please notice it. It's a generic exception. It creates an error, generic exception. It is not allowing us. Why? You want to know the reason? The reason is that actually it is an exists. So let us check. So it is a data extension. If you go to data extension here and 
O2? Center of Okay, so this is the send log data extension. So if you click here, send log data extension. Okay, great. You will be notice here. Actually, it is a okay number of jobs ID. Yesterday we have created four and it was eleven, and now it becomes the oh, 18,415. So records, it's come to here. So every time we are sending any mail and it creates a job ID, it creates a job ID. And then actually it is a, okay, all counts, all top 200s are displaying here and 18,450 total records. And okay, so we have created, okay, total 18,415 records. If we create it, uh, then its log ID will come. So this is the, okay, this is here, part of the, Okay, it is a process. We can add more fields here. Okay, this is the common field, and you can it is a these are the fields, sir. Okay, you can customize. Suppose you are sending a mail, you want to check which is the first name, email, phone number, location, country. These are the fields that profile related fields. You can also track in the log. So let us we send a odd mail and or send log. So how will do it? Go to content in con go to content. Okay. So very good. So now I want to I want to send a want mail and to create go to create create email message. Okay. Create selection from HTML. Okay, I'm sending 30, first 30th December. Message. Message to all my friends. Okay, click next. Okay, so here some mandatory things we need to add. So what are the mandatory things here? We need to add type physical mail. We need to add unsubscribe compulsory. And we need to add profile center. We need to add profile center. Okay, so now give mail 30th December. Yes, us mailing my friends. Okay, click save and send. Okay, so now I want to send next. So we have written 1800, 3000, okay, 3415. Uh, 3415, it is a count. And now we are sending a mail, expand data extension, choose data extension. Okay, choose it. My extension, drag and drop it here. Now, next. Okay, so this is the okay, this is the point you need to note it. This is the point you need to note. Retain the same log data. Okay, you want to point highlight it. Yes.
So you notice. So this is the retained send log data. This is the retained send log data we need to highlight. So if we do not check it, then it will be not stored the log in send log master set log, it will be not stored. So your log count will be not increased. So it is a compulsory to get that next and click on next. Okay, so checkbox. Successfully sent. Excellent. So what it has done, you will notice it's a if you go to tracking section, if you notice in tracking section, it will change 13 a, a message it has been created, the mail has been created. So it is a Okay, so this is the next to go to tracking. It has been job ID. So a job ID has been created 611404. So this is the job ID it has created. This job ID, okay, and it's a this job ID, and again it will be count. We can now if we go to here. And it is a count is you will be not immediately back, but after few hours you will be if you visit in the data extensions and if you visit in the log send log this data extension. Okay, click here. This count will be increased. It will be what will happen? This count will be increased. This report 18,405. This count will be increased. So, this is the about send log. Now, if we again go to our main theory where we have started. Okay, so next. So what we have learned today? So send log, it captures relevant information of a subscriber to whom communication is being sent email through email or SMS in a data extension called send log data extension during email or SMS send. Send log is created by inbuilt template send log because whenever this SFMC account has been created first time through template this send log has been created. So that's the reason we are not able to create again. So in order to decode the log in the data extension we need to check we need to enable the send logging data I have shown in the screen to check at the time of email send and this is the scenario we can log so user initiated send Trigger send, we will learn later. AB test send, we have sent AB test send mail. We have sent guided send, sales process. This is the all, each and every scenario. It creates a job ID and it's stored in the send log okay, data extensions. So that's all. Thank you for listening this video uh, to get clear idea about the send log features in SFMC.